today we're going to work on, on Seipai and just to go over some of the moves on, you know, just to clean them up a little bit. So I've already done the overhead view, you, you're going to be able to see that, uh, the aerial view. But let's take the first move in Seipai. Now, very common, what you see, I'll demonstrate what, what I'm talking about here. So a lot of people step and they turn sideways. So now really, this thrusting motion, the first move is supposed to be this way. Like I'm, this is spear hand thrust into the, into the person, into the opponent. And I see a lot of high level people on YouTube, different styles, teaching this. And it's the same move as in, in Nipapo too. Um, what happens is they turn this way and now the arm goes like this. Like I'm hitting with the back of my hand. Okay. So really what happens, if I'm in this position here, I should be striking that way. That's where my power is. There's no power this way. Okay. So what I want to do is rely on my rotation. So I start off square and I rely on the rotation to get some power in my thrust this way. Okay. If I've already turned, I can't get my elbow back in the right position to get any power, so I have to do this. Okay. Same as in the Nipapo. In Nipapo, you're coming in with an Ipon Ken this way. So a lot of people are striking this way. There's no power in that. It wouldn't work. So think to yourself, from here, as you step back, stay square. So my hand comes this way. So I'm actually in like a Zenkutsudachi here. And then from this position, as I rotate into Shikudachi, I'm in the position there. So my hand's going straight this way. It gives me a little bit of power. The other thing is, if you watch from the side, what I need to think of is using this part of my body to pull. Imagine I have hold of somebody and I want to pull. I'm pulling with my back, my back and my hips, and I pull. So as I'm doing the motion, I'm going to pull into position here, all right? Making sure that my body is not this way, not this way, shoulders are not up into position. And if I think of pulling, it helps me to sink into position. So from here, one and two. Into a solid position here, right? So again, from the, from the front, I'm stepping straight back. And then I'm turning into shikodachi. Don't step into shikodachi this way. All right, so from here, one, two. The next move, I'm gonna come up into position here, across, and elbow strike. Okay, so just to work on the bunkai for that, Steel's gonna give me, give me a hand with that. Okay, good, so we're gonna demonstrate uh, the, the, how the moves work, right? So you're gonna do it in a you want to so. So as he steps in, I have to step back to get away from that. Okay. So first move, as I step back, I come to here. Okay. And then this is going to do the block. I'm blocking this motion here with the heel of my hand and striking. Okay. So one more time. So as he comes in, that's the movement right there. Okay. That's the the obvious bunkai. Another uh, um, application could be somebody grabs a hold of me. Okay, now when somebody does that, they probably want to do like a headbutt or something. Okay, that's the kind of thing that they're going to do, right? So what I'm going to do is I take a hold of his hand and I step back, pull him off balance and come up into the throat. So just move your hand up the way so they can see. So this is going into the throat here. <laughs> Sorry, a little too hard. I'm taking control of this hand. If he decides he wants to punch me with that hand, I have some protection here. All right, so put the hand back again. So I'm in this position here. Now, the next movement would be stepping up. It didn't work for some reason, so now I have to break the grip and elbow strike. All right? So that's more of a practical application. Let's go back to the obvious bunkai. As he comes in with the oizuki, one, two. He grabs my wrist with both hands. Now he's going to do something uh, with my hand. So what I do is I step up, I grab my own hand, and I come through. I break the grip and elbow strike. Right? So you can see it's the same thing, it's just different variations of it, right? So, uh, one more time, come with a punch. He grabs my wrist, I bring it up, keep my elbow close to my body, break, strike. 
Okay. The other one, he comes in and grabs me. Okay. I I gotta react before he gets that head bite in there, right? So one more time, as he comes in, I'm coming in here. Okay. So it doesn't work for whatever. He, I can't get him off me. So I step in, keep him off balance, and I break the grip, and then from here, the elbow strike again. Alright, good. All right, good. So we'll go on to uh, for the next couple of moves. Um, so in the cut, we go this way, step up, and elbow strike. So now from here, we're going to step in one, two, three, four, elbow block, and put again, back fist here, right? So um, going from the side here, I would be in this position. From the uh, elbow strike, I step in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? So still, if you can come in for a sec. So I'm in this position here. So this just gets set up in the, uh, with the right leg in front. That's it. So the next move, I step in here. It's a groin strike. Okay? It could be stepping backwards as he's coming in, right? So either way, I'm in this, back again, I'm in this position here, now he punches with that hand. Block, strike, kick. He comes back with a punch, elbows, and back to the strike, all right? So one more time. So from here, I step in, groin strike, punches that hand, block, uh, strike, kick. He's too close for a front kick, so I would go for the leg, okay? At that point, I'm getting back, he comes in with a punch, block, and strike. All right, thanks. So, to do the timing on it, we just move back a this time. From here, I'm gonna be in one. One, two, three, four, and then I go to the next move. From here, now the next move would be a down block, a midsection block, I grab, I step through, and it's an arm bar, okay? So, to go from this position, it would be one, two, grab his hand, go around his arm, and break the arm, okay? Then from there, I move across this way, and strike. This could be a groin strike, it could also be a uh, strike to the tailbone, depending on which position he's facing. Okay, so, um, just come in still. So, I was in this position here. I come across one, two, three. So, let's think of it like he comes in with a punch. I, I grab it, strike. To the, I'm trying to break his elbow, okay? Strike it. I come around, I grab, and I break. So, that would be... So we just do it one, two, three. So come again with a punch. I'm just blocking. I'm blocking it or grabbing it, right? The cut that shows it this way. So I'm just gonna grab it one more time. He comes in, one, two, strike, get it out of the way, and then break. So go ahead. So one, two, three, break. Now from here, I bring it this way and strike it into the groin. Okay? If it was the other hand, and I had him twisting this way, I could be striking into the tailbone. two dogs watching so they may come and get involved from time to time um, we'll try not to uh, do the moves on them all right so the next sequence in the kata we're actually doing this position here so if you watch from this way I'm going into here like this so you imagine it's somebody kicking you so you could be blocking the kick it could be a roundhouse kick coming to your head so you, you're covering the whole body here by, by using both hands so it's actually this way, one, okay? So if I do it from here, it's one, and then we step in, two. This can be an elbow strike. Okay, I'm catching the guy's leg here. 
It's a sweep and a double Iponkin. And then I step back for a down block. All right? So still comes in for a sec. So this position here, say, say he comes in and he wants to do a front kick. So just do a front kick right now, right? So what I'm doing is I'm actually moving to the side here, catching, catching him, right? This would be an elbow strike here, right? Now, if I don't care, I'll just slam him into the ground. But just to do it slowly so everybody can see, I'm just going to hold him from behind. The sweep comes here. The sweep goes down, and I just lay flat, and I come up, and one into the throat, one into the solar plexus. Yeah, this is usually for attacking a soft area. Uh, could be the temple even. This way, right? Back again. One, two. Strike. Sweep. Down and punch. Then from this position now, I step back and he comes in with a roundhouse kick. He wants to kick me here, all right? So I block it, all right? So I was in this position, like this. I step back, he comes in with a kick, I block. And then I'm gonna do the same on the other side. All right, good. So um, make sure you watch what's happening with my feet and my hands. Uh, that way, when you do the cutter, you'll actually see what's going on. What's happening, I've got his, his leg in this, with this arm. This hand is coming like a, what they call haito, a ridge hand, into the throat. Okay, I'm striking this way. So I come up, sweep, and punch, right? The hands are going here. Sweep, and punch. All right. All right, so the next uh, sequence after that, we come into this position here. And we step over and it's a, like a block and a punch. Then we turn, and then kakete, one, two, three, grab, kick, and strike, okay? So the sequence, I mean, there could be a lot of different things that this could be, but if we just do what I'm gonna show you, it'll help you get a, um, a picture in your mind of what you're doing, and it'll make the kata look a little bit better. So let's just use steel for a second. So I'm coming into this position here. Probably, let's just say he goes for a hook. Uh, let's do it from the other side. So I'm thinking as he comes in, I want to do an uppercut. <laughs> All right, that's the motion there, right? So come again. So this hand is 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 to cover up, like a pita nida move, right? So as he comes in, one. This is coming here. One time, comes up here. Now he grabs my wrist. Okay, I step in. And I break the grip, and bang, I hit him. Okay, that made a nice noise. So again, so he comes in, I'm covering. If it was like a, a street street fight, I'm just lifting my hands up, just kind of like, kind of uh, like a flinch. So as he comes in, I lift up one. Okay, this is hitting the the, the the jaw. He grabs my wrist. Okay, he wants to hit me with the other hand. So I'm coming in, and I'm punch as I'm punching. This is covering me. He wants to punch from my face. This is covering. So like in Basai Dai, this covers for another punch. Okay, so let's do that again. Go. So one, he grabs. I step in. And two. All right, then I turn around. And I do this. sequence, the bunkai of the next sequence, where we do the kakete, and one, two, three, four, five, and six, right? So still just come for a second. So I'm, I'm moving, I'm coming around, and he's, he's punching. I'm grabbing, this is my kakete here, right? So actually I'm gonna do a sanshindachi. So from here, it's a groin strike, one, okay? Then it's a back fist. And then I'm moving it out the way, I'm grabbing, I'm kicking, and then I'm pulling him in, and it's a Urazuki is upside down punch, right? Okay, one more time. So maybe we'll go from this side. So I'm in Saishindachi, and I've got a hold of his arm. So here like this, right? 
So from this position, maybe just shorten your stance a little bit. So I'm moving in, strike the groin, strike the nose, get this arm out of the way, grab, kick, and pulling in, and push. All right, the show in the air, my caquete here. So it goes one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, pretty, uh, pretty easy to do. All right, the next, next sequence, we come in from here. And it goes one, two, come around, and strike. Okay, I'm going into the cast test when I'm doing it. So what's happening is he punches, I grab his hand, he punches for my face, I grab the hand, I spin him around, and I bring him back, and I have a cast dance here to support him with my knee so he doesn't fall down. And it keeps his head right where I need it to hit him. All right, so we'll go from the side here. So I'm in this position here. He comes in with a punch to my stomach. I'm gonna grab it. He punches my face, I block it. Now from here, as I step back, I pull and I rotate him around. He goes down on the ground. My knee is just in the right place here, and my hand supports the side of his head, and this one strikes into the jaw or the, the temple up in here, right? So one more time. <clears throat> so watch what happens to the hands. So from here, so I grab it, it comes to my face, I block it up. As I step back, I use the momentum of my body to pull him. He goes down, okay? And my knee is right in the back of his neck here. So it stops him. If he falls on the ground, then I'm gonna go all the way down here to get him. So just sit back up again. So he's, he's in position here like this. One hand holds him so he can't get away. The other one comes in from here with a strike. And then that's the end of the combat. All right, so just to show it one more time, if I go from here, it goes one, two, three, four. And then we finish. This. Uh, so if you keep this in mind when you're doing the kata, if you can have a visual in your mind, you visualize uh, somebody's attacking you, it'll make your kata look so much stronger and so much cleaner. And you'll have more confidence. It'll show in your, in your face, it'll show in your movements. Your kata will start to get really strong and it looks like you know what you're doing, as opposed to just doing a bunch of moves that you don't know what the application is. All right, good. Let's...